Greenwich, Wikipedia Audio Greenwich or Garnaca is one of the most widely planted red wine grape varieties in the world. It ripens late, so it needs hot, dry conditions such as those found in Spain, where the grape most likely originated. It is also grown in the Italian Isle of Sardinia, the south of France, Australia and California's San Joaquin Valley. It is generally spicy, berry flavored and soft on the palate and produces wine with a relatively high alcohol content, but it needs careful control of yields for best results. Characteristic flavor profiles on Grenache include red fruit flavors with a subtle white pepper spice note. Grenache wines are highly prone to oxidation with even young examples having the potential to show browning coloration that can be noticed around the rim when evaluating the wine at an angle in the glass. As Grenache ages the wines tend to take on more leather and tar flavors. Wines made from Grenache tend to lack acid, tannin, and color and it is often blended with other varieties such as Syrah, Carignan, Tempranillo, and Sinsot. In Spain, there are monovarietal wines made of Garnaca Tinta, notably in the southern Aragon wine regions of Calatayud, Carinina, and Campo de Borgia, but it is also used in blends, as in some Rioja wines with Tempranillo. Grenache is the dominant variety in most southern RHANE wines, especially in Cha Sent Town Uf du Papa where it is typically over 80% of the blend. In Australia it is typically blended in GSM blends with Syrah and Morva Diari with old vine examples in McLaren Vale. In Italy, the Sardinian DOC wine Canana di Sardina is by law 99% local Grenache. Grenache is also used to make Rosa copyright wines in France and Spain, notably those of the Tavel district in the CA Tez du Rhane and those of the Navarra region. And the high sugar levels of Grenache have led to extensive use in fortified wines, including the red vins du Naturels of Roussilla such as Bonneuils, and as the basis of most Australian fortified wine. History Grenache or Garnaca most likely originated in the region of Aragon in northern Spain, according to ampelographical evidence. Plantings probably spread from the original birthplace to Catalonia and other lands under the crown of Aragon such as Sardinia and Roussilla in southern France. An early synonym for the vine was Tinto Aragona copyright s. The grape is known as Canana in Sardinia where it is claimed that it originated there and spread to other Mediterranean lands under Aragon rule. Grenache, under its Spanish synonym Garnaca, was already well established on both sides of the Pyrenees when the Roussillon region was annexed by France. From there the vine made its way through the Languedoc and to the southern Rhone region where it was well established by the 19th century. Despite its prevalence in nearby Navarra and Catalonia, Garnaca was not widely planted in the Rioja till the early 20th century as vineyards were replanted following the phylloxera epidemic. Grenache was one of the first varieties to be introduced to Australia in the 18th century and eventually became the country's most widely planted red wine grape variety until it was surpassed by Shiraz in the mid-1960s. Early Australian Grenache was a main component in the sweet fortified wines that was the linchpin of the early Australian wine industry. In the 19th century, California wine growers prized the vine's ability to produce high yields and withstand heat and drought conditions. The grape was extensively planted throughout the hot San Joaquin Valley where it was mainly used as a blending component for pale, sweet jug wines. In the late 20th century, the Rhone Rangers movement brought attention to the production of premium varietal Grenache and Rhone-style blends modeled after the Grenache-dominate wines of Cha Sent Town Uf du Papa. In the early 20th century, 
Greenwich was one of the first Vitus vinifera grapes to be successfully vinified during the early development of the Washington wine industry with a 1966 Yakima Valley Rosa copyright earning mention in wine historian Leon Adams' treatise The Wines of America. The Greenwich vine is characterized by its strong wood canopy and upright growth. It has good wind tolerance and has shown itself to be very suited for the dry, warm windy climate around the Mediterranean. The vine buds early and requires a long growing season in order to fully ripen. Greenwich is often one of the last grapes to be harvested, often ripening weeks after Cabernet Sauvignon. The long ripening process allows the sugars in the grape to reach high levels making Grenache-based wines capable of substantial alcohol levels, often at least 15% ABV. While the vine is generally vigorous, it is susceptible to various grape diseases that can affect the yield and quality of the grape production such as colour, bunch rot and downy mildew due to the vine's tight grape clusters. Marginal and wet climates can increase Grenache's propensity to develop these viticultural dangers. The vine's drought resistance is dependent on the type of rootstock it is planted on but on all types of rootstocks, Grenache seems to respond favorably to some degree of water stress. Grenache prefers hot, dry soils that are well drained but it relatively adaptable to all vineyard soil types. In southern France, Grenache thrives on schist and granite soils and has responded well to the stony soil of Chassent Town Youf du Papa with the area's Galets Rule a copyright s heat retaining stones. In Priora, the crumbly schist soil of the region retain enough water to allow producers to avoid irrigation in the dry wine region. Vineyards with an overabundance of irrigation tend to produce pale-colored wines with diluted flavors and excessive alcohol. The skin of Grenache is thin and lightly pigmented, making wines with pale color and low tannins. Older vines with low yields can increase the concentration of phenolic compounds and produce darker, more tannic wines such as those found in the Priora region of Spain where yields are often around 5 to 6 hectoliters slash hectare. Yield control is intimately connected with the resulting quality of wine with yields below 35 hl slash ha, such as those practiced by many Chassent Town Youf du Papa estates, producing very different wines than those with yields closer to 50 hl slash ha which is the base yield for Appellation d'Origine contra la copyright e wines labeled under the CA Tes du RHANE designation. The strong wood canopy of Grenache makes the vine difficult to harvest with mechanical harvesters and pruning equipment and more labor intensive to cultivate. In highly mechanized wine regions, such as Australia and California, this has contributed to a decline in the vine's popularity. Over centuries, the Grenache vine has produced color mutation vines with berries of all range of colors. While Grenache Noir or Red Grenache is the most well-known, Grenache Blanc or White Grenache is a very important grape variety in France where it is the fourth most widely planted white variety after Ugni Blanc, Chardonnay, and Semillon. Like Grenache Noir, it is a permitted variety in the blends of Chassent Town Youf du Papa. In southern France and Sardinia, the mutants Grenache Rose and Grenache Gris are also found making pale rosa copyright and lightly tinted white wines. Harry Grenache is a Grenache variant evolved to grow fuzz on the underside of its leaves to protect the vine from transpiration in hot climates, like the corresponding fuzz on rosemary or other Mediterranean plants. Compared to its more widely planted cousin, it produces wines lower in alcohol and higher in acidity that show spicy and savory notes more readily as they age. It was not widely replanted after phylloxera as it was not well adapted to making the vins du naturels that were all the rage at the time. 
The vine known as Garnaca tintura is a synonym for the Tincheria grape alicante which is a crossing of Grenache and Petite Bouchette. In 1961, a cross between Grenache and Cabernet Sauvignon produced the French wine grape Mars Ella. Grenache is often used as a blending component, adding body and sweet fruitiness to a wine. The grape can be troublesome for the winemaker due to tendency to oxidize easily and lose color. To compensate for the grape's naturally low tannins and phenolic compounds, some producers will use excessively harsh pressing and hot fermentation with stems to extract the maximal amount of color and phenols from the skins. This can backfire to produce green, herbaceous flavors and coarse, astringent wine lacking the grape's characteristic vibrant fruitiness. To maintain those character traits, Grenache responds best to a long, slow fermentation at cooler temperatures followed by a maceration period. To curb against oxidation, the wine should be racked as little as possible. The use of new oak barrels can help with retaining color and preventing oxidation but too much oak influence can cover up the fruitiness of Grenache. The high levels of sugars and lack of harsh tannins, makes Grenache well adapted to the production of fortified wines, such as the Vendu Naturels of the Roussillon region and the port-style wines of Australia. In these wines, the must ferments for three days before grape spirit is added to the must to halt the fermentation and the conversion of sugar into alcohol. The high alcoholic proof grape spirit brings the finish wine up to 15 to 16 percent alcohol. These wines can be made in a rancio style by leaving it outside in glass demijohns or wooden barrels where the wine bakes in the sun for several years until it develops a madeirized character and flavors of sour raisins, nuts, and cheese. These fortified VDNs and port style wines have longevity and can be drinkable well into their third decade. Grenache is one of the most widely planted red wine grape varieties in the world with France and Spain being its largest principal wine regions. In the late 20th century, total acreage of Grenache in Spain has been on the decline with the vineyards being uprooted in lieu of the more fashionable Tempranillo, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Merlot. Between the late 1980s and 2004, Spanish plantings dropped from 420,000 acres to 203,370 acres allowing France with its 236,500 acres to assume the mantle as the world's largest source of Grenache. As of 2000, Grenache was the third most widely planted red wine grape variety in France, behind Merlot and Carignan. From French nurseries, Grenache has become the fourth most widely propagated vine with more than 23 million cuttings sold since 1998 according to French ampelographer Pierre Gaillet. In France, Grenache is most widely associated with the wines of the Rhone and southern France. Its history in the Rhone can be traced to the influence of Burgundian wine merchants in the 17-18th centuries who were seeking a blending variety to add body and alcohol content to their light body wines. Grenache, with its propensity for high alcohol and high yields, fit those desire nicely and was widely planted in the Cha Sent town Uf du Papa and Gigondas and Vakiras regions. Today Grenache is most widely planted in the languedoc roussillon region where it is widely blended with Carignan, Sinsot, Syrah, and Morvadiari. The vine also has sizable plantings in the DRAME department. The vine's strong, hard wood and affinity for bush vine training allows it to thrive in the Mistral-influenced southern Rhone regions of Cha Sent Town Uf du Papa and Gigondas. In Cha Sent Town Uf du Papa, Grenache Noir is the most common variety of the 13 permitted varieties, although some producers in recent years have been using a higher proportion of Morva Dre. 
Greenwich produces a sweet juice that can have almost a gem-like consistency when very ripe. Syrah is typically blended to provide color and spice, while Morva Diari can add elegance and structure to the wine. Viticulture The grape's thin skin and pale coloring makes it well suited for the production of full-bodied, fruit rosa copyright wines. Grenache is the principal grape behind the Rosa copyright S of Tavel and Lyric and it plays an important role in the Provence region as well. In the Roussillon region, Grenache Noir and its Gris and Blanc mutations are used in the production of the fortified Vendu Naturels of Bonules and Mori. The characteristic of French Grenache-based wines depends largely on the selection of its blending partners and can range from the spicy richness associated with Chassent Town Uf du Papa to the chewy fruitiness associated with basic Cates du Rhane villages. Other regions with sizable plantings of Grenache include the Appellation d'Origine contre la copyright e regions of Minor Voice, Fitu, and Corbières. In Spain, Grenache is known as Garnaca and given the likely history of the grape this is most likely the grape's original name. There are several clonal varieties of Garnaca with the thin-skinned, dark-colored Garnaca Tinta being the most common. Another variety, known as Garnaca Peluda or Hairy Grenache due to the soft hairy texture on the underside of the vine's leaves is also found in Spain mostly in Borgia and carry a plus or minus ENA. Compared to its more widely planted cousin, it produces wines lower in alcohol and higher in acidity that show spicy and savory notes more readily as they age. Widely planted in northeastern and central Spain, Garnaca was long considered a workhorse grape of low quality suitable for blending. In the late 20th century, the success of the Garnaca-based wines from Priora in Catalonia sparked a re-evaluation of this workhorse variety. Today it is the third most widely planted red grape variety in Spain with more than 203,300 acres and is seen in both varietal wines and blends. Garnaca plays a major role in the Denominatia Superscript 3 and Origen wines in Aragon, Catalonia, and Navarra and the Denominatia Superscript 3 and Origen Calificata wines of Rioja and Priora, plus the mountainous areas just southwest of Madrid, Ma Copyright Entrida and Spreros. Other Spanish wine regions with sizable Garnaca plantings include Costas del Segre, Emporta, La Mancha, Madrid, Pineda S, Somentino, Tarragona, and Terra Alta. Aragon, believed to be the probable origin of the grape, concentrates the largest surface of Grenache in Spain, with 40,034 acres planted. Garnaca is the dominant variety in the region and is typically used to produce single variety wines. Even though in the mid 20th century Garnaca was considered a workhorse variety for large volume wines, in the last 20 years a new generation of winemakers have taken a new approach, by controlling yields, taking advantage of the old vines and applying modern techniques in combination with old traditions to increase concentration. The Dew of Calatehud holds the highest altitude Garnaca vineyards and is the only due to legally define old vines. In Campo de Borgia, 30-plus years old Garnaca bush trained vines and manual harvest are common, the grapes are typically slightly raisined, Gem a fruit that generates alcohol of 14 to 14.5%. 14 the Caria plus or minus ENA do has the largest surface of Garnaca vineyards in the region with 11,120 acres, many of them old vines. Although many of Somentino do wines are now produced with international grape varieties, some of the oldest high altitude vineyards are still traditional Garnaca. In Rioja the grape is planted mostly in the warmer Rioja Baja region located in the eastern expanse of the wine region. 
usually blended with tempranillo, garnaca provides juicy fruitiness and added body. In recent years, modern Rioja producers have been increasing the amount of garnaca used in the blend in order to produce earlier maturing and more approachable Riojas in their youth. Garnaca is also used in the pale-colored rosados of Rioja. The vine has a long history in the Navarra region where it has been the dominant red grape variety with nearly 54% of the region's vineyard planted with Garnaca. Compared to neighboring Rioja, the Garnaca-based blends of Navarra are lighter and fruitier, meant for earlier consumption. Ampelographers believe Garnaca has had a presence in the Priora region of Catalonia for several hundred years but since the 1990s the region's old Garnaca have garnered much attention. A wave of ambitious young winemakers rediscovered the low-yield, bush vine-trained Garnaca planted throughout the La Corella-based soils of Priora. This unique combination of extremely old vines planted on steep terraces and soil produces very low yields which makes Priora a dense, rich concentrated and dark-colored wine with noticeable tannins. The traditional Priora wine would be almost black in color and require years of aging before it would be approachable to drink. Nearly 40% of all the vineyard land in the Priora region is planted to Garnaca and most of the rest is Carignan but the acreage of Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, and Merlot increased before 2000 as modernist producers sought to blend those varieties to add complexity. Some of these new modern style priorats tend to show softer, blackberry fruit in their youth and over time develop notes of figs and tar. Mutants and Crosses Winemaking in Italy, Grenache is most commonly found as Canana in Sardinia where it is one of the principal grapes in the island's deeply colored, full-bodied red wines that routinely maintain alcohol levels around 15%. The Sardinian DOC wine Canana di Sardina is by law at least 90% local Grenache. Grenache is also grown in other Italian regions, under names as Alicante, Take I Rosso, Granaxia, Vernaccia Nera. Wine Regions France, Spain, Aragon, Rioja. Grenache is also found in Sicily, Umbria, March, and Calabria. Grenache has been grown in Israel since the 19th century and was once an important grape in the Algerian wine industry. Today there are still some producers in Morocco producing Grenache Rosa copyright s. Sizable plantings of Grenache are also found in Cyprus and scattered among the Greek islands. A clone from Perpignan arrived in Australia with James Busby in his 1832 collection. More significant was the introduction into South Australia of new cuttings from the south of France, by Dr. Christopher Rawson Penfold in 1844. Plantings in South Australia boomed, particularly in McLaren Vale, the Barossa Valley and Clare Valley. Until the mid-20th century, Grenache was Australia's most widely planted red wine grape variety with significant plantings in the vast Riverland region where it was vital component in the fortified port-style wines of the early Australian industry. As Australian winemakers started to focus more of premium still wines, Grenache gradually fell out of favour being supplanted by Shiraz and later Cabernet Sauvignon in Australian vineyards. The late 20th and early 21st centuries saw a revival of interest in Grenache with old vine plantings in South Australia being used to produce varietal Grenache as well as AGSM Grenache, Syrah, and Movedra blends becoming popular. Varietal Grenache from the McLaren Vale is characterized by luscious richness and spicy notes while Barossa Valley Grenache is characterized by jammy, intense fruitiness. 
In the early California wine industry, Grenache's high yields and alcohol level made it an ideal blending component for jug wine production. Early plantings centered in the hot central San Joaquin Valley, where the grape benefited from its tolerance to heat and drought. It was first used to produce sweet, pale-colored white Grenache wines similar in quality and substance to white Zinfandel. The late 20th century saw a revival of interest in the variety spearheaded by the Rhone Rangers movement. These producers imported new cuttings from the Rhone Valley for planting in the cooler Central Coast region for use in the production of premium varietal Grenache and Rhone-style blends. Some historic old vine plantings of Grenache in Mendocino County has also garnered interest in recent years. In the early 20th century, Grenache was one of the first Vitus vinifera grapes to be successfully vinified during the early development of the Washington wine industry with a 1966 Yakima Valley Rosa copyright earning mention in wine historian Leon Adams' S. Treatise The Wines of America. Despite its long history, Grenache has been a minor grape variety in Washington but has seen an increase in plantings in recent years due to the Rhone Ranger movement in the state. Older plantings in the Horse Heaven Hills and Columbia Gorge American viticultural areas have also begun to attract interest. Navarra Grenache Noir came to the Cape in the 19th century but was only confirmed as such until the early 1900s by a Stellenbosch University professor. While there isn't a lot of Grenache Noir planted in South Africa at only 305 hectares in 2014, many of the 100-plus Grenache-based blends are proving to be very fashionable with winemakers due to South Africa's Mediterranean warm climate, dry land, and granitic soils. Despite being one of the world's most widely planted red grape varieties, Grenache's colonization of the New World has been limited apart from strongholds in Australia and California. The rising popularity and success of the Rhone Rangers movement has brought greater attention to the variety and more plantings of Grenache are popping up every year in places like Mexico, Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, and South Africa. Though Grenache is most often encountered in blended wines, varietal examples of Grenache do exist. As a blending component, Grenache is valued for the added body and fruitiness that it brings without added tannins. As a varietal, the grape's naturally low concentration of phenolics contribute to its pale color and lack of extract but viticultural practices and low yields can increase the concentrations of phenolic compounds. Grenache-based wines tend to be made for early consumption with its propensity for oxidation make it a poor candidate for long-term aging. However, producers who use low yields grown on poor soils can produce dense, concentrated wines that can benefit from cellaring. The fortified Vendu Naturels of France and Australian port-style wines are protected from Grenache's propensity for oxidation by the fortification process and can usually be drinkable for two or three decades. The characteristic notes of Grenache are berry fruits such as raspberries and strawberries. When yields are kept in check, Grenache-based wines can develop complex and intense notes of black currants, black cherries, black olives, coffee, gingerbread, honey, leather, black pepper, tar, spices, and roasted nuts. When yields are increased, more overtly earthy and herbal notes emerge that tend to quickly fade on the palate. The very low-yielding old vines of prior rock can impart dark black fruits and notes of figs and tar with many traits similar to the Italian wine Amarone. Rosado or Rosa copyright Grenaches are often characterized by their strawberry and cream notes while fortified Vendu Nautrils and Australian port-style wines exhibits coffee and nutty tawny-like notes. Grenache is known under a variety of synonyms across the globe. These include Abandante, 
Alien, Alien TD Rival to, Alien Poggy Arelli, Alicant Blau, Alicanti, Alicanti Grenach, Aragonez, Bwajon, Cananatu, Canonadu Nidu, Canana, Canana Silvagio, Canonazo, Carignan Rosso, Elegante, Francesi, Game del Trazimeno, Game Perugino, Garnaco Negro, Garnaca Common, Garnaca Negra, Garnaca Roja, Garnaca Tinta, Garnatsa Negra, Garnatsa Pays, Giranet, Granaxia, Granaxa, Granach Noir, Granach Rouge, Kek Granach, Ladener, Mensita, Navarro, Navarra, Navarra de la Dordone, Navarro, Negro Caviz, Rankinat, Red Grenache, Redundal, Redagliadu Nidu, Rive Salts, Russia Tinto, Russia, Reveil Yard, Sans Perel, Santa Maria de Alcantara, Tentillo, Tintella, Tintilla, Tinto Menudo, Tinto Naval Carnero, Tyrasso, Toldana, Uva de España, and Vernatsa. Priora Italy Other Old World Regions Australia United States South Africa Other New World Wine Regions Wines Synonyms